Hello again, I'm Maurice Barrett and it's Friday morning. I've got another food for thought. I've been thinking again. Is God your hobby or is he your whole life? Don't, don't answer too quickly. Listen to what I've got to say. I was reading Matthew 8 this week and I was comparing the difference between the scribe who said to Jesus, I'll follow you wherever you go. And then another man who, who said straight afterwards, let me bury my father. And Jesus' reaction to the two is very different and the men's approach are very different. Let me look at it with you. I'll read it from Matthew 8, verse 19 to 22 is the dialogue. And a certain scribe, so we don't know who he was, came and said to Jesus, Master, I'll follow you wherever you go. That was rather a dumb statement because he didn't know where Jesus was going. Jesus may turn left and he wants to turn right. Uh, you, you, you first ask a man where you're going and then you can decide if you want to follow. But he was presumptuous. He said, I'll follow you wherever you go. He must have thought it was a nice journey. And Jesus said to him, the foxes have holes, the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. What did Jesus mean by that? Was that a, a straight answer? Well, of course it was. Foxes build holes and birds built nests to rear young to have family life. Birds don't sleep in nests unless there's eggs in the nest or they build in the nest. When the chicks have flown, the birds don't sleep in the nest. They roost, they, they grip on the, the branches they have special muscles in the claws that can grip onto the, the branches so they don't sleep in nests so nests when Jesus says I've nowhere to lay my head he meant there's lots of nice women in Israel but I won't be laying my head on any one of them I've got no rest I've got no family life we never hear of the man again he, he hadn't counted the costs We never hear of the man again and he thought it was easy to follow Jesus. Let me read what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. <coughs> then Jesus said to his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him first deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. So unless you've denied yourself, taken up your cross, you're not really following. That's the following Jesus. You may be saved, but that's another thing. You don't deny yourself and take up your cross to be saved and have eternal life. It's, it's by faith alone. There's no works involved. There's no effort involved. But if you want Jesus to be more than just a hobby and a religion that you go to a holy club on Sunday and Wednesday where you go to church, then there are conditions and commandments to adhere to if you want to be a disciple. There's many big commandments in the Bible. Jesus gave many. But it's not being preached. That's the, that's the problem. We've got a soft gospel and soft doctrines. And sadly, it leads to soft Christians. We've not got soldiers anymore. We've got happy, clappy, chocolate soldiers. Well, let's look at the second man. And another of his disciples, so this wasn't a certain scribe, this was a man who wasn't a follower, he was actually a disciple. And so Jesus treats him differently. And another of the disciples said, Suffer me first, Lord, to go and bury my father. Well, he was already a disciple, he was on the way. He put his hand to the plough. And Jesus said, if you put your hand to the plough, there's no looking back. You'll miss the kingdom. The disciple who was told or asked Jesus, can I bury my father? Jesus said, no, it's too late. You've put your hand to the plough. Jesus said, follow me. Let the dead bury the dead. You've left those long ago. Unless you're willing to forsake family and houses and lands and even your own life, you can't be a disciple. You decided you made your choice. Wow, tough talk. Well, let me read what Jesus said at other times, Luke 14, 33. So likewise, 
whosoever he be of you, that forsakes not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Wow, that's a whole life experience. That's not a hobby. That's not going to church twice a week and paying your tithes and reading your Bible for an hour every day. That's duty. That's religion. This is a 24-7 a lifestyle where you lose your life to gain his. Luke 14, 26 and 27. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So you, can you see why there's so few disciples in the world? There's millions of followers. They've got the ticket to heaven because it costs them nothing. But they don't want to pay the price to be a disciple. They don't want to lose their life. They're asking God to bless their life instead of losing their life so Christ can live his life in their body. Well, dedication, discipline, so important. We're soldiers and dedication, discipline. It's mandatory for a soldier. We're in a warfare and there's no discharge from this warfare till we're in the grave or Jesus returns. So we can't get weary. I, I understand the times we're living in, the pressures, the economic pressures. But we can't get weary. So let me finish with an encouragement. Paul says, Galatians 6, 9, Let's not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Let's stand in the evil day. Well, time's gone. Have a wonderful, blessed week. And may God be your all in all and keep thinking.